Hey, what's up guys? Daily challenges, Madame Nazar's location, and collector challenges for group 3 are going to appear in today's video. We have things like Ram's Head, English Mace, Beavers. Yesterday here in Europe, we ended up changing our clocks back an hour, which means the daily challenges don't refresh for me at 8 a.m. like normal. It would be 7 a.m. for me. And unfortunately, I kept my alarm clock set to 8 o'clock, so now I'm a full hour behind schedule, which really sucks. So we have other things like hairstyle updated, fish caught with food. You also have NPCs hat shot off. You have story missions completed. Madame Nazar is going to be over at Dewberry Creek today. In this location, we're pretty much all familiar with it. So Ram's Head you can find in a couple locations. We're just going to go ahead and concentrate on these three in Cumberland Forest. Those two locations, you will have plenty to complete the challenge. And if for some reason they don't register, you can hop over to that spot to collect another couple. There's quite a few spots for English Mace. I'm going to go ahead and start in the New Austin area. There's a couple locations over there near the St. Louis River. McFarland Ranch, there's another three. You have a couple at Thieves Landing, Stillwater Creek area, and there's also a couple just a little to the east of O'Cray's Run. You only need to visit two spots as most of the spots have either four or three flowers at each. So we're going to talk about beavers and I didn't have time because obviously I'm an hour behind, but you can find them in West Elizabeth all the way ranging from Tall Trees up to Big Valley, Valentine up to Cumberland Forest and this whole area here. The Heartlands is also a great spot, especially near the oil rig. And in the Lemoyne Roads area, specifically down near Bulger Blade, is a great spot to find your, your badges. For your collector challenges, make sure you guys have metal detectors so you can find the majority of these locations. Also, some of these will randomly change. One day we have the group, like this location here could be an arrowhead. The next time we have the group, it could be a piece of jewelry. Also, 8 p.m. East Coast time in the U.S., <laughs> these locations will switch to the next group for the next day so keep that in mind so we're going to be able to find flowers tarot cards eggs heirlooms jewelry coins and dig sites first location you can find an heirloom in the house next two locations are cardinal flowers then we'll move on to another dig site which is a jade hairpin sometimes an arrowhead you have an egret egg a tarot card inside the cabin we move on to a heron egg some irish whiskey then we have two tarot cards at the gang hideout then we have a piece of jewelry and a cardinal flower that's the jewelry right there and then a cardinal flower at that location moving north we come to a dig site which is either arrowhead sometimes jewelry you have a cardinal flower another piece of jewelry you have an heirloom inside the cabin you have another dig site which either has jewelry or an arrowhead then a spoonbill egg which i'm jumping ahead spoonbill egg at that location then we have another dig site with either usually a family heirloom then we move over to a piece of jewelry on the island you have some antique alcohol in the cabin and then these locations could be coins they could be arrowheads they could be jewelry for me they've most of the times been coins but if you guys need some extra coins to complete those challenges we also have one up in this location just a little south of the word Ansberg on the map at this little cabin north of that O. and then also down in the marsh you have one on this little island right here Okay, so next up is bottles and eggs for people that have those challenges. At the lighthouse in Van Horn, you can find an antique bottle. There's also one in the cabin in the southern part of Rhodes over here. There's another one over here at Quaker's Cove. Then we move on to a location where you can find three goose eggs, then three loon eggs. And there's also an antique bottle here at Lymphony. And near the sign in Lymphony, there's an extra coin too, so you might as well grab it if you're there. Appreciate you guys watching. Hope the video helped. See you guys next time.